Hi, welcome to I Love the Library. I'm Mary Haney, director of the Detroit Lakes Public Library, and I'm so glad that you've decided to join me today because I have something really special to show you today on I Love the Library. It's a new service that the public libraries in Minnesota are offering to all of our customers. It's called Minnesota Writes, Minnesota Reads, and it's a, I guess I'd call it a suite of software for people who want to publish books. You can use this the service to publish, to get ready to publish a book in print. You can use it to e-publish or electronically publish your book, which is probably the easiest thing to do. And even better, you can get it put on the website for people in Minnesota to read right away if you want them to. So come on with me and we'll take a look at Minnesota Writes, Minnesota Reads. Okay, we are going to start with the web page for Lake Agassiz Regional Library that's up in the corner here, www.larl.org. And don't worry, if you don't have a Lake Agassiz Regional Library card, but let's say you have a Viking card for Ottertail County or a Kichigami card for Hubbard County, you can go to the Kichigami website or the Viking website and get access to the same thing. But this is how we do it in Lake Agassiz. Start with our web page. Then we're going to go over here to services. Most of our, our um, other databases are under research, but this is under services, which is kind of a new thing. And we're going to go right down here to the Minnesota Rights, Minnesota Reads links. And we're going to click on that and it will take us to this service here. It's a free service. It's, um, it's a wonderful thing. It's actually very new. It didn't start until about February 26th, so it's very new. I have very little experience with it, so pardon me if I stumble us through this. Um, but it comes in three parts. As you can see, the first part is create. You can design and export your own ebook. And once you've got it done, you can share your ebook with readers through this Minnesota Reads part of it. Or you can read books that have already been put up here, ebooks by Minnesota authors. So we're going to start with the read part because that's actually the simplest. It's just like looking for an ebook in any regular catalog. And these are books from Minnesota authors and a few select authors from across the country, but it's in indie Minnesota reading and writing. And so you can choose a genre if you want. These are all ebooks. They're not in print, but you would read them on your device, your phone, your Kindle, your Nook, your tablet, your iPad, or your regular computer. And you can just choose a, a selection of them um, and see what you want to read. This is a great way for independent writers who publish their own books to find an audience. And you can find many different collections. Um, the, actually, the historical romance is pretty <laughs> extensive. Um, the literary fiction, not quite so much. Um, the mysteries and thrillers, there's more of that. We'll just look at that real briefly. And so here are some actual titles. Um, I like this one. The Cabin. I mean, oh, it could be more Minnesota. Although it does have mountains in the background. Um, anyway, that's a little bit about the reading part of it. We're going to back up here and, and look real briefly at the share part. Um, and this is how a, an independent writer would reach readers, as it says, reach readers and promote your book. Um, if you are writing a fiction book in English, and you submit it through this Minnesota Writes, Minnesota Reads, a board of reviewers from Library Journal will read your book and if they think it's a good enough book, they will put it into the self e select part of this, which means it will be available for readers across the country, not just readers in Minnesota. And so um, that's a really nice thing. It only works for fiction in English. If you're writing a history of, say, the ice harvest in Becker County, it won't work. Um, they only do nonfiction. So we're going to go back to the create part of it, which is where you would write your book. You can actually use this to write a book. Um, and we're going to... 
how to create a book is some information. There's really great information on how to do this. Um, here's a four-step guide to making the book. You can add your book information, like the title. Um, you can add and organize your text. You can put this, you can type your whole book by yourself in Word and import it into this, or you can actually type it in the Minnesota Rights part of it. And you can choose your book theme, which I think is so cool. Um, I'm thinking I might write a family cookbook but I haven't found a book theme for it yet. And then you're, when you're all done, you export your book and get it all set. At the bottom here are additional resources. I've looked at these. The video tutorial is really excellent. That would be a great place to start. So that's just a brief overview of Minnesota Writes, Minnesota Reads. If you try it out and you have any trouble with it, give us a call. I'm not sure I can help you with it, but we'll, we'll try. But let us know how you like it. And, uh, Come and join us again at I Love the Library. <laughs>